Here we have a 50mm uh, bore hitch. It's got hydraulic brakes with a uh, special backup so that you can you can back up uh, the trailer without a problem. We go from the braking and the hydraulic system here to the engine. This is a 50 horsepower Hatz silent pack diesel um, driving a belt which drives the pump. On the engine you've got your dipstick here and that's also the place where you uh, you uh, top it up should it be necessary. You've got a fulcrum here which is part of the remote control system. The engine has a solenoid. When you switch the water on the solenoid activates and will drive the fulcrum back until you've uh, hit the stop on the, th on the throttle control. So this acts like a stop and you can wind it out to whatever pressure you want to work at and then when you turn the water on and off it will already come back to that pressure. Got your filter here and you've got your uh, oil drain here and you have a tube in your toolbox that you attach here to drain the oil. Driving this 4000 psi 68 litre a minute pump. The important thing about the pump is its ability to run out of water without damage. So if you run out of water, simply keep running it, you can retrieve your hose then go fill it up and you'll be in good shape. You've got a, a bleed valve here to bleed the water when you've got the tank full. You've got a pulsation valve here and you've got a shutoff valve here to clean your filter. Okay, the important thing to remember is to open the shutoff valve when you've cleaned the filter. And you've got a water drain here, that's your drain to empty the tank. You've got a rupture disc on the pump which is just here. Put the uh, rupture disc in with the, uh, the dimple side facing this way. So the pointy bit goes down. We've got an antifreeze tank here and a fuel tank. We'll go through the antifreeze procedure at a later date so that it doesn't get too overly complicated. Aluminium toolbox, aluminium mud guards, aluminium fuel and hydraulic tanks. So you haven't got a rust problem. Tiger tail hose protector, nozzle rack, nozzle and drain jet extension. Important to use the extension so the hose doesn't come back out of the pipe. So you should use an extension whatever the, the diameter of the pump the pipe is. Remote control. We'll go over that in a minute once we've done all the controls at the back of the unit. Got your battery in here. Important to keep the, the, the lid on it. Okay. Otherwise you can get things across the battery and will will not do it any good. Uh, mag light there so you can plug that in the back of the unit and you've got a magnetic light to uh, see what you're doing. There you go. Okay, we've got a uh, hydraulic reel here with 150 meters of half inch hose and a 10 foot leader hose. Your hydraulic controls are quite simple, in and out, and a detent position which allows you to pivot the reel to uh, unroll the reel by hand. Okay, when you put it in the middle, it locks the reel, won't come undone. Simple controls, that's your speed control for the reel. In this position, it slows it down. In this position, it'll speed it up. If you go too far this way, nothing happens. So you want to keep it about there. Now this is your throttle, but it's not actually a throttle, it's more of a stop. So you'll wind this out to preset your pressure. Then when you turn your water on, it'll automatically come up to that pressure, depending on the nozzle you've got on it. Ignition, pressure gauge, digital pressure gauge, beacon light. This is your pulsation valve. When you want to have the hose pulse, you idle the throttle down to 1500 psi, turn the pulsation on, the hose will jackhammer till you get through the blockage or go the distance, then simply switch it off and reset it to the pressure you want to work at. We're now going to go over the remote control system. On the back here we've got a switch. One is local, one is remote. Switch it to the remote position. Turn the remote control on simply by pressing this button. And you will see your little light flashing. Okay, providing it's flashing, it means they're talking to each other. When you're ready to turn the, uh, the water on and off, 
switch the engine on. We're ready to operate. We're going to press the green button. the emergency stop. If you want to reset it, you have to come back, turn the key off and restart it again. But that's basically how the remote control starts. You've got your power, water on, water off and emergency stop. Now if you want to rotate the reel, the reel will rotate in this position all the way around. Okay, now if you do it, do it with the pressure off. Don't rotate the reel when you're under pressure because you've got swivel joints underneath here that are not designed to rotate under high pressure. So always idle it off, turn the pressure off, and then you can rotate the reel. Use your beacon light when you're working. Now, we've got a return to tank here and a return to antifreeze tank here. So if you've antifreeze the unit, you can re, uh, put the antifreeze back into the holding tank by connecting it up here. If you want to run down the road in, in very cold weather with the engine just idling, you can connect that up and just have the water turned on at idle. And then the water will keep circulating and not freeze. Right here, we have a bypass valve. If you're going to use smaller hoses and you want to get less water going through the system, you can simply open this a half turn, it'll dump some of the water back in the tank and you can raise the revs on the engine so the engine isn't lugging down when you're using smaller hoses. But remember to close the valve when you're finished, otherwise you'll be running this and you won't get a pressure. The only other time when you're going to lose pressure is if your filter gets clogged, the pump simply can't suck enough water in. So if you lose pressure, check this that it's closed and then check the water filter to make sure it's not clogged. You've got a sight gauge over here which will tell you how much water you've got in the tank. Again, it's not a problem if you run out of water with this unit, you're not going to do any damage to it. You've got a fill system here which has the um, anti-siphon air gap. So you can always put a, uh, a fill hose on here if you wish. Um, you can also put a filter on the fill hose if you want to. We have a filter in the tank, so check that from time to time. Your tiger tail holder goes in here, so when this is all covered in grease, you simply put it in there and you don't have to have a greasy tiger tail in the toolbox. It's important to remember to turn off your remote otherwise the battery will go flat. I think that covers it for the minute. Thank you.